In this video we'll cover how to install the DNS role on a Windows 2008 server. We'll also create a forward lookup zone on that DNS server and it will create a reverse lookup zone and we'll add a DNS record. Hello everyone, in this quick demonstration I'm going to show you how to install a DNS server on a Windows 2008 server. So first off this is a pretty clean install of Windows 2008 R2 and what we'll need to do here is click on the start menu and you can go over to administrative tools over here and then right over here where it says server manager go ahead and click on that and then we get this screen from this screen we can look at the different roles that this server currently has and as you can see it has no rules installed at all like I said this is a pretty clean install of Windows 2008 so what we'll need to do here is click on add roles so let's go ahead and click on that and then you get this little add rules wizard that pops up go ahead and click next select the role we want we're selecting DNS server we're gonna click next here and just gives you a little bit of uh, information about what DNS is an overview of what it is and then again it's going to tell us what we're doing we're installing a DNS server a domain name server so let's go ahead and click install and then it's going to go through the process of installing the server and once it's all done I believe it will ask us to reboot so instead of just sitting here and watching the progress bar move across the screen, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and we'll pick up from here once it's done installing. Okay, we're back. The installation is completed. As you can see, it says the following roles or services have been installed and we have DNS server and it's telling us that the installation has succeeded so it completed successfully and now we can configure the DNS by using the DNS server wizard and DNS manager so let's go ahead and click close so now we when we look in server manager and we look at the role summary we see DNS server as one of the rules listed there over there and if we go over here under server manager and expand this tree out a little bit by hitting that plus sign we see DNS server listed underneath the rules over here so let's click on that and we click on DNS server here we see a bunch of information relating to DNS server and we scroll down we can see additional information about it it's telling us recommendations of how to set up DNS but uh, let's go ahead and minimize that for right now and if we click on the start menu we'll see underneath administrative tools we see DNS listed there now so if we click on here this is the basic DNS settings that we have for DNS server in Windows 2008 so first off what we need to do is we need to create a forward lookup zone and you can do that by clicking on the folder here this is the name of our server Win2K8 underneath here this is where we would add a new zone so we can right click here select new zone and then you go through the new zone wizard so we'll click next and there are three main types of zones that you can select primary zone which is just basically a standalone type of server or DNS server I should say it's not uh, integrated with Active Directory it's not an AID DNS server um, a secondary zone works in conjunction with a primary zone you need to have a primary zone in place before you can install a secondary zone 
and what it does a secondary zone just creates a copy a read only copy of the primary zone and then we have stub zone here also which creates a copy of the name server as well and here which is currently grayed out is an active directory integrated DNS server the reason why this is grayed out is that that type of DNS server can only be installed on a server that is also running Windows Active Directory so we're just going to go with the plain primary zone as our zone type and we're going to click next so here we're going to provide some type of zone name and we'll just go with something like this my home dot local click next it's going to create the new file my home dot local dot DNS click next typically um, when you're creating a primary zone that's not Active Directory integrated they recommend that you do not allow dynamic updates primarily for security reasons so let's go ahead and click next and we will complete the new zone wizard right here by clicking finish if we expand this out you can see that we now have a new forward lookup zone for my home dot local now if you had some other organization or some other domain name that you just put underneath here you can have several different uh, forward zones forward lookup zones inside of here this is just the first one that we have here and what we, you should always do what is best practice after creating a forward lookup zone is to create a reverse lookup zone so let's do that we'll click here we'll create a new zone again there's a wizard it's very similar to the other wizard we'll click next and we're creating a primary zone as well we'll click here we're going to use IPv4 and what we need to do what a reverse lookup zone does is it basically takes an IP address and maps it to a domain name whereas a regular forward lookup zone takes a, a um, DNS name or domain name and maps it to an IP address so it kind of does the reverse so what we need to do here is we need to type in an IP address for our zone and we just have uh, the subnet of 192.168.0 and you can see it automatically fills it out here for us this is the standard way of creating a reverse lookup zone it actually reverses the IP address so it's 0.168.192 so let's go ahead and click next it's going to create that new file click next again again we're going to not allow dynamic updates because it's not active directory integrated click next click finish and now we have a reverse lookup zone and we see the DNS two DNS records in here so far we have the name server record which points to this domain name server and we have the state of authority also and we, we have the same files listed in here as well so let's go ahead and add one new DNS record if you right click inside of our zone that we've created here you see there are a couple of different options there's quite a few different options for different types of DNS records the most typical one you would probably create would be a new host which is often referred to as a, an A record or an AAAA record for IPv6 um, DNS records so let's go ahead and click here and we're just going to create a record for computer 1 and as you see here we type in computer 1 and automatically appends the rest of that domain name to it so it gives us our fully qualified domain name just by typing in computer 1 there and then we can type the IP address that we want to have that map to which will be 192.168.0.11 and here we're going to 
have this checked so what this does is it automatically creates a pointer record pointing to the reversed lookup zone so if we click add we've now just created a an A record successfully so we can click OK here click done here's our A record and then if we look in our reverse lookup zone may need to refresh this there we go and there is our reverse lookup IP address alright that is pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative thanks